Okay, so in this video, we're going to show you how to make the dimensioning project. So the first thing you're going to do is you just take um, your coloring page or whatever page you find that you want to cut in shape and add some dimension to your project before you glue it together. So in this one, it's hard to tell, but it's actually a 17 inch wide piece of paper. So this shoe is about 16 inches long. Um, so once I have it stuck to the wood, I'm going to cut it all out. So this project um, is has a lot of small pieces. So on yours, I would suggest picking something that's five to 10 pieces, some kind of flower or some sort, at least to try it out. Um, but this one, again, there's about 13 pieces just on the laces right here. Um, so a lot of small, tiny pieces that were all cut out that I had to paint on later. So once everything is all cut out, like here, you can see you want to take off all of the paper. Now, as you probably noticed, if you take the paper off right away, the same day that you cut it, it peels off a lot easier. So this one, I actually peeled the paper off um, after a few days, just because I didn't have time to do it all. So you can see a lot of the paper is stuck to it. So I end up having to sand it all off, getting it all off. Um, and then you're adjusting the edges of your pieces of wood here. So you're shaping it by kind of carving off the edge with the little Dremel tool. Um, but that's not good enough just to do that. You have to use sandpaper like this and it basically softens the edges. Otherwise you can see the lines from the Dremel tool or you see these like sharp edges. We want it to be rounded and smooth. So you gotta take that um, all the way to round it. So then you have to paint it all. So you can see I already had some of the pieces painted. I wanna paint all the pieces even though some of the edges are going to be covered, I still usually paint most of the edges um, just so you can see that. So once all the pieces are cut, I now glue it together. So I use super glue. This super glue, each time I'm holding the piece, I'm holding it for about 30 seconds until it dries and it basically holds it into place. So obviously this video is sped up super fast, but there's just a few dabs of glue and then it's all stuck together. And then again, each time I hold it, I'm holding it for about 30 seconds, even though it looks like two seconds in the video. So you're going to do that with all the pieces, just dabs of glue. Now, the key on this to make it look more realistic and make it look the best is that you're actually gluing things at different heights. So it's hard to tell on this with it sped up and everything like that. So you'll see in just a minute, once everything's done, there's a couple pictures where you can actually see that the laces actually stick out um, closer to me than the rest of the pieces. The sole of the shoe sticks out further out because on a real shoe, the sole sticks out. The teal part around the Nike swoosh, that also sticks out a little bit further than everything else. Um, so it's just how it would be on a real shoe. Um, not exact, but close. You can see that top edge where the laces are. You can see that kind of shadow that's bumped out. Right here, these are a top view of some of the first laces that are on there. And then this is the sole of the shoe at the very tip of the toe. Um, so they're all at different heights and it gives it that realistic look um, more than just gluing it all together. 